presented by that time I got reincarnated in the same world as an anime podcaster, this is Shonen Jumping the Gun! The show where we set our sights on the first chapter of a manga and decide if it's a misfire or a bullseye. Let's see how many rounds are in this magazine. On today's episode, say a prayer. It's Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi. Welcome, everybody. This is Shonen Jumping the Gun. I am your hellbound host, Kermit the Grog, here with my eccentric exorcist friend, Isekai Sensei Sama Brad. Brad, how you doing? I don't, I don't know if I could do this. Oh, you can do it. Do it, buddy. Just take some deep breaths. You can get through this. Come on. <laughs> okay. I feel better. Do you feel better? I think I'm all right. Okay. You sound like you held your breath in this. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. As you've seen, we are covering Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi. Uh, this dropped in Shonen Jump a few weeks ago at time of recording. Chapter one dropped June 23rd, 2024. And with that, we will dive into my Kermit's patented speedrun summary. Patent pending, I guess. We haven't put in the paperwork yet. <clears throat> we start with a character intro. A young man covered in tattoos and dressed all in black. He banishes demons from this world. He is an exercise. I mean exorcist. Splash page of our MC and some characters we might meet later. Kiyoshi, he's our main character, introduces himself to us. The reader. That he has incredible abilities and a graduated youngest and at the top of his class from Exorcist Academy at just age 16. Our uh, protagonist from a uh, previous episode, I've already, uh, Hema 10. That might be the next was, episode. <laughs> was also age 16. A lot of 16. 16 so that must be the key reader age for Shonen Jump. I'm going to guess yeah. 16. I mean, that would make sense. Teenage boys. We'll have to check the age of the characters in the third episode. But um, <laughs> that's too much future vision. He's finally out on his first mission, but he's terrified of a scary-looking demon ghost creature. He was smug when he came in to do it three hours ago, but now he's drained, scared, and stuck in a stalemate, but is somehow still able to project in confident aura. More inner monologue as he loses his mind, thinking about the possessed girl and needing to pee. The ghost confusedly asks if he's scared, and if Kyoshi was just bluffing before, and seeing he hit the nail on the head, calls him out as a coward exorcist and goes to kill him. And Kiyoshi cries, the tension finally broken, all his feelings come out, and the ghost is confused and kind of helps support him. Why did he become an exorcist? Kiyoshi shows off his tattoos and mentions wanting to go to a public bath, which as we know in Japan is not allowed because that usually means if you've got big tattoos, you're Yakuza and yeah. that's dangerous. He has a cross on the front and 666, the devil's number, on his back in Roman numerals. But wait, <laughs> it's actually 777, the tattoo isn't even right. Kiyoshi attempts self-harm by banging his head against the floor, but the ghost demon stops him. Uh, but the homeowners think this is an intense fight taking place. Cut to Kiyoshi and a very chill-looking businessman demon sitting on the couch as the demon talks about his life. But wait! How did he get extracted from his host? Kiyoshi, after seeing how nice the demon was, wasn't scared anymore and extracted the demon no problem because he's real good at his job. The demon introduces himself as Yamada, and that he didn't want to do this, and that he normally works for the Demon Realm's Department of Water Resources. He got a summons from the great demon lord Meto to go to the surface and possess that girl, which is a high honor to be asked to go do that. But Yamada just cares about his family, which is very normal. Yamada asks Kiyoshi why he became an exorcist. Kiyoshi's parents were killed by demons, and he doesn't want anyone else to go through that. He wants to do a big protect, a big mamaru, and he trains super duper hard to achieve it. And here he is, but he's so scared all the time. He'll never be a good exorcist. But Yamada says if Kiyoshi was his son, he'd be really proud of him. And that he faces his fears and tries his best. And that he's got all he needs. Well, he's missing one thing. Yamada teaches Kiyoshi relaxing deep breathing techniques. No secret techniques here. Just classic anxiety reducing deep breaths. Which work. It's so interesting to see. I see deep breathing in anime is usually such like a superpower. <laughs> well, we've got Ham on deep breathing. Demon Slayer has breathing techniques. Yeah. A third one I can't think of right now. Oh, and that fourth one. And the of course, who could forget the fourth one? 
Yamada is then ready to be exercised, but Kiyoshi can't do it because Yamada is no demon. He's so nice and doesn't want to harm anyone, and he lets him go. But then, a black goat shows up. It's Black Philip. Uh-oh, it's the demon lord Meto, here to kidnap the girl for her high demon resistance. But he can only stay for ten minutes. Kiyoshi freaks out and shuts down. He's too scared. But Yamada pulls up his courage and kicks him awake. He needs to be strong to protect people. Meto instantly kills Yamada, but with his deep breathing... Um, oh shoot, this is a problem there's too many male characters and I can't use pronouns because they're all he. <laughs> Meto instantly kills Yamada, but with his dying breath, he roots on Kiyoshi and reminds him of deep breathing techniques. Meto blasts the grieving Kiyoshi with a massive house-shattering blast and is ready to take the child, but Kiyoshi lives. He observed the energy of the blast and fixed up Yamada because he's just the best. Kiyoshi states what's scarier than any demon is the idea of losing someone who matters to you and just eviscerates Meto with a series of named blast attacks before exercising him completely. The girl and parents thank Kiyoshi and then he and Yamada chat on a park bench. If Yamada will be okay after all of this. Kiyoshi defeated one of the 13 demon lords and the rest are becoming, going to be coming for him, so says Yamada, but Kiyoshi doesn't sweat it. He'll just take some deep breaths and get through it. A strange bearded man calls Kiyoshi, giving him an assignment to defend Naraku City, and then Kiyoshi finds a tattoo-friendly bathhouse, and all is well. For now. <laughs> and that was Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi. Okay. I gotta get this out right away. Yeah, yeah. Especially because uh, uh, the other episode already came out, even though we haven't recorded it yet. Yeah. You know how we were like, oh my god. I can't believe there's more Exorcist series. We thought what are we were they finally doing? out of it. Or at least I did. I was like, it's Hitman and guns, baby. Yeah. And then it's like, nope, back into the oven back you into go. Exorcist. Except both of these series are gag manga. And I was like... This one I feel is... Yeah. I read this one second. The other one feels more like true. Yeah. They're both comedies, we'll right. say. And I went... I would say the other one's more of a gag manga. I can't believe they're both comedy exorcist I mean, I manga like, you like what play, the heck? i'd say you can't play it straight but we we do have kyoto necromance which is kind of that already yeah um i also appreciate this one is not just straight up like it's not at least seemingly right now it's not just yokai it looks it feels more like it's got more christian imagery yeah because we have the six, like the devil's number is a very biblical thing. Mm. The weird bearded little man has like a weird, like his beard and hair form like a cross. Oh, and when he exercised the the demon lord guy, he like turned into a, a cross of light. Yeah, like there's a lot more, which like, you know what? If we're going to do that, I appreciate having. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for making it more like my culture's demons instead of <laughs> your culture's demons, Japan. I and yeah, I mean, they're obviously, they're they're dealing with different subjects and they look completely different and everything. But just yeah. the idea of like, oh, you thought we were done with the exorcist stuff? No. No. But also, here's two here's, things that silly. are doing the same thing. But silly. <laughs> but di But different. Yeah. Which, you know, we'll get there and you'll get there when you hear it, listener, and we'll get there when we record it, listener. Um, but yeah. Listeners will have already heard that one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, I like the series. Yeah. it. I have no idea if it has legs. I'll tell you what. Um, you know, with uh, Super Psychic Policeman Shoujo, which the listeners haven't heard yet. Um, <laughs> I forgot. I, I was like, you know, this is fine, but like, I want a gag manga that's going to like hit me over and over and over again instead of sort of like a long build up and then a joke and then a long mm, build. that's true. what I expect from a gag manga this one is the rat-a-tat-tat -tat nature of it it really did a really good job of because it's not it's not joke 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 the whole way through but every time there's a joke the the setup of it was done in such a way that like you didn't really see it coming even after you get it, it plays, after the first two or three times where yeah. they're like oh here's the what the joke of this series is it still surprises you it plays with the silliness of the situation yeah. it like takes a moment to look at that and go like oh isn't this kind of funny and so i was like uh so much more enamored with this than i was with uh chojo yeah i i love the art style yeah the art style is just doing a bunch of heavy lifting because it's that kind of cartoony art style that I love. It reminds mm -hmm. me of One Piece. It reminds me of... I thought I had another example and I don't. I'm really bad at examples today. Um, I think actually I was going to say Fire Force. Like it's got a weird cartooniness to it. I can it see that. That's like a specific style. 
You also um, did just watch the Fire Force trailer. I did. That so. is, it's true. It was very fresh <laughs> in my brain. Um, but I liked it. I liked the message of the story of anxiety and taking deep breaths. Like yeah. it's it's like One Punch Man from a different angle, which I kind of appreciated. There is the the whole thing. It it's the uh, the juxtaposition of the fact that he is like the best exorcist, but also he's scared of devils. Yeah, he he gets nervous and overwhelmed very easily. Yeah. But it made him, and just like how happy he is, and there's like a lot of like people giving thumbs up, and I'm like, yeah, that's like the. Um, it. It's like if you combined Saitama and King from One Punch Man. Yeah, a little bit of like you don't know what's there's people who think he's cooler than he is because he's they're like, oh man, he's so steely, he's not right. reacting, but it's just because he's internally screaming and stuck. Which I love the uh, the the ongoing joke in so many series of like a protagonist who has no idea what he's doing, but everyone around him thinks he knows what he's doing all the time. Um, Overlord is one that does that, mm. that I love where it's like, you know, he is capable, he is super powerful, but also the schemes within schemes stuff, the smarts of like long-term planning, he doesn't have, but everybody thinks he does because things always work out. He just kind of rolls with it really well. Right. Yeah. Um, I, and maybe it's just because I noticed it on the page, which I normally don't. I love the 666 is actually 777. Because I was looking at like Roman numerals. I'm like, wait a minute. Those are seven. Yeah. Oh, whatever. It's Japan. Maybe they don't know Roman numerals very well. And then I turn the page and it's like, oh, no, it is 777. Yeah. That's the gag. And I'm like, that's really funny, actually. I wonder, and I mean, this is getting into where it's going to go. But I wonder if anyone else knows that he's scared. Because... I imagine that the joke will be that, that no one else knows that he's a scaredy cat. Um, and so all of the situations that he gets put into are because everybody's like, oh, he's the best. He can do all this stuff. And he's so cool and calm and collected. And then he's standing there in front of like five demons. And internally he's going, oh, my God, what am I going to do? But on the it. outside, he's like completely cold. and Yeah. we've the The one thing that gives me like... Uh, worry about this series is that like like I said like I don't know what legs it has mm -hmm. because he's already the most powerful if he, and if he does his deep breathing like if he can calm down he's fine and like at a certain point that's tiring it's like it's like Demon Slayer it's like I have to wait for Tanjiro to fall asleep before he can actually <laughs> do anything that, and really I think he's oh sorry Tanjiro's the main guy <clears throat> he does not need to I mean he should sleep more he works too hard <laughs> um but yeah Zenetsu boy needs a break boy needs a break um and like the fact it's like and obviously and it's also like there are 13 demon lords and also you already killed one and yeah. not like you killed his underling and then now there's 13 it's like oh you instantly wiped out one yeah but we'll find out that that was the weakest one yeah out of the 13 it just feels um, like it might move but like also just like like i said like i'm enamored with the characters i'm enamored with the vibe i like the art i like the message i have no idea where it's going but it feels like it has ideas yeah and it, i I don't know. I'm I excited to keep reading it. I think if this was played straight, it wouldn't have a long life. I think if he... I I kind of want the other world where there is more... I mean, we freaking first chapter, that there is more lore and world building and like place to go that he's not already the strongest. Mm. Well, we'll probably because I love, back. I right? like the... Yeah, but that's just him training. Like, I like the... I like the concept of the setting and the look of it too much that I don't want it to run out of space to go and then go, I don't know what we're doing anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't want the train to run out of tracks because I'm I mean, having a good time. And that is always the danger of, like, when you have a very interesting idea like this. Because I think it's relatively easy for a normal person that isn't, like, super talented to have this kind of idea. It's a one shot. And put like, this down, could have easily yeah. made it like with with light editing at the end you could have made this into a one shot and it would right. have been it would have been good. But it takes like that immense talent um to really give something legs. And this is what we saw this with Tricks Dedicated to Witches where it's like you had an author who was like, here is this great idea. Here's these ideas that I have that I can keep going. And then they got to a point and they were like, oh shit, I can't do this. I'm sorry, out. everybody. Yeah, go in, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to do it. I'm going to invoke future vision just a little bit to say, I didn't read any more than chapter. Cause you're one. a professional, but I wanted to read more of it because <clears throat> I'm the host and you're the one that has to follow the rules, which is completely backwards. <clears throat> 
Um, it continues to feel like it has things that it like it. It feels like it knows where it's going because a lot of the t- we've had a lot of chapter ones where it's like, okay, in chapter one the dog has already caught the mail truck and it's mm. like, well now what do we do? And you can feel from chapter two the author doesn't know, and here it feels like the author has things cooking and I don't quite <laughs> parse it all yet. Um, so I guess at time of recording there are three chapters. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go home and read the rest of them. Yeah, they're fun. Like it, I, it's 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 one of those. It's like if you can keep this ball up, and I don't get, and you don't, it's not too one trick pony. I will keep reading you week by week because I, I just, it just, I just, I don't know why. I love, I love self improvement. Like I love that. Just like literally, just take mm. some deep. Like just an anxious protagonist that's not like that's like treated both like comedically, but also in like a genuine. Yeah. It's like people get anxiety, but it's okay. <laughs> and I was just like. Yeah, why don't more manga do that? I really like that. But <laughs> as, also, somebody, like, as somebody who suffers from anxiety and knows other people to do, this is really pleasant and self-affirming. I like this. If you've built up so much that like you have to be the best and in this situation, yeah. you have all this... Pr- like, that can make it worse. That's great for yeah. a teen. I'm just like, you could be the aggressive. You just got to get over your, your personal demons. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, no, I, I enjoy it. And I... I, ga- I gotta say, like, the, the way... When I when I read the first, you know, however many pages it was, two or three pages, where it's sort of like setting itself up of like, this is just another exorcism manga. Yeah. Uh, and they it totally took me off guard. I because the way that I generally do these is that I have no idea what's going on when I go into it. I don't even read summaries or anything or the little blurb on the page. Good on you. And so when I read a series like this, it really does surprise me and it's i think it's better because oh yeah it's better to go and not knowing anything yeah. which i don't think i knew either i, I just get knew to it was an exorcist series because that's what i had been hearing but i didn't know right. it was going to be a funny one i get to experience that little like twist which now none of our listeners get to experience sorry um <laughs> but it's uh i wonder our listeners should probably read the first chapter before they listen to this but then that would sort of i wonder negate if they do. the point of the summary but in case you yeah. don't, because like I know, hi, we're gonna do this tangent here, which we probably could put at the end. Um, I always like to. I would listen to a lot of like media review podcasts that, mm-hmm. like, I'm not going to watch or listen or read the things they're talking about, but I like listening to their thought process on it and having, especially because we only have to cover a chapter, it at least gives you context. And obviously, like, yeah. I don't know what it sounds like to somebody who didn't read the chapter. I'm usually writing the summary. I have to read it, and also I have to read it to do it on the show. So I don't know what it would feel like to read one of my summaries if I hadn't read it. So I don't know how well it gets across things, yeah. but that's the idea is at least to go like, Hey, I know not everybody does this. Maybe you just haven't had the time and you still want to listen to it. Let me give you at least a little context so you can. But how are people supposed bit. to know if it's worth reading if they don't listen to this show? So catch 22. <laughs> well, I don't think they're going to miss out on much because I think, you know, despite the fact that that little bit at the beginning that sort of takes you off guard uh, was done really well. Um, the whole rest of the chapter was yeah. also really well done. It's and fun. so I don't think, yeah, they're not going to miss it's much. Got fun art. It's got good comedic sensibilities in its art and its timing. So they, c- they could wait two or three weeks until they forget about this episode. Yeah. And... Wait an hour. You'll forget. That's what I do. <laughs> um, not everybody has memories as bad as ours. Correct. Some people are worse. Um, so with that, Let's get ready for the boo boo boo. It's the quick draw. Well, as always, we need to uh, throw it over to Truxan to give us the rules of the range. Hey, everybody, it's me. It's Truxan, your friendly neighborhood Truxan. It's Truxan's rule of range. So we're at the bottom. We got dead walking, dead in 20 chapters or less, an early grave, like do retry or candy flurry. Next up from that, we got a flop, granted a stay of execution, under 50 chapters, like a fabricant 100. Or a Doran Dororan, whatever that is. Next up is It'll Live! Hangs on just past flop zone, sub 120 chapters like PPPPPP <laughs> or Magu Chan. Then we got Solid, Sir that does well but hasn't reached its true popularity, like an Akane Banashe or Undead Unluck. Can get an anime. Then we got the Hit, truly popular with an anime and hundreds of chapters, like a like a black clover in an assassination classroom. And finally, oh my gosh, the supernova. 
industry shaker and shaper. Readers want to be with them. Other manga want to be like them. Like a demon slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. And that's Truck Sans, Rules of the Range. Back to you. Great. Thanks so much, Truck San. Now with that, Brad, what is your vote? Yeah. Um, man, I think I have to call this a hit. Ooh. I was, I was sitting here the whole time going, yeah, it's solid. Yeah, it's solid. Yep, solid. Yep, solid. And then I went, well, crap. I, this might actually be really, really popular because like the exorcist stuff is popular for some reason, but also this is really funny and relatable. Yeah. Which I mean, again, this is hello fellow kids, but yeah. So I, yeah, solid. Oh, no, no, no. So yeah, a hit. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm going yes. with hit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can have your optimism. I'm going to say solid, especially looking at the, the series list there. Undead and Luck and Akane Banache is some good, at least at the time we made the chart. I think that's some good company for it. I think I'm going to say yeah. solid. Though I appreciate your optimism. I don't think you're crazy. I, I mean, I think Akane Banashi should be supernova, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> right, give it time. Let it have an anime. That's when it. That's when the rocket boots take off, except when they don't. And with that, what is your emotion on it? I'm going to call this great. I'm going to also call this great. Yeah, it's not... Um, I wasn't reading it going, oh my God, I have to get more immediately. I'm, I'm going to read the rest of it tonight, but I'm not like... There wasn't a point where I was like, hmm, I think I might break my rule and read the rest of this right now before I go yeah, for recording. I wouldn't say it's that much. Um, but yeah, great. I, it's it's definitely something, um, well, we'll flow right into this, that I want to keep reading. And I think I'd probably buy the Tankabon for this. I would, I'm likewise saying great. I would likewise buy the Tankabon. I think the thing that kept me from amazing is if I had more of a sense of, if I didn't have to worry about longevity of like, is this bit going to burn out? That worry in the back That's of my head. Because yeah. like, we've seen series where it's like, oh, you only had one joke. You only had one bit. And I get sick of things very quickly. I do. I will and say. I don't want to be sick of it because I'm um, really enjoying myself. But it's that worry in the back of my head of like, please don't just have one note. <laughs> I need to make sure that our Chojo episode comes out before this. But <laughs> I have been pretty happy with the way that Chojo has been going. I, in the, in the next, you know, three four chapters i got more down on it i i thought it was like why aren't they going heavier with the comedy on this this is they port themselves to be a gag manga like go all in on gags but the last three or four chapters i've been like yeah this is it's pretty good it's funny and interesting and so like i get similar vibes here where i feel like they're really punching it um and i think it's it's doing the gag stuff in an interesting setting, which is what you want out of a gag manga. You want it to be funny a lot and interesting. I would so, agree. I'm, I'm in on this. Well, cool, cool, cool. Um, as stated before, as we've reached in there of our voting, um, at time of recording, there are three chapters out, so it's still leaving the station. I believe it is still all free on the Shonen Jump app it and website. It won't be by the time people listen to that this. That is very true. Sorry, future people listening. To, sorry, current future people listening to this. And hey, extra future people you listening can to get this. a Shonen Jump subscription. Well, no, the first chapters will always be free. The first chapters will always be free, but then you'll have to pay for Oh, well, yeah, but at least the chapters Because they'll currently... start reading it and they'll want to read more. Well, that's their thing. But yeah, at the at, no matter when you listen to this... It's two ninety nine. This chapter just, just and get... the first couple that are currently out at the time of recording are free to read. And you'll be able to make a decision if you want to, quote unquote, buy that Tenkoban for $3 a month and everything else or not. There are enough series that we've covered now that people should be paying for that subscription if you paid 50 cents for not even just a, a a book but an entire series i could easily name six series you should be reading yeah and that's all that's what's going on going now there that's is, not even to say the archives or, or jump plus no other place on the internet where you can get a better value yep for manga mm -hmm. there's not even ads manga plus has ads <clears throat> even if you pay maybe I don't pay, so I don't know, but you might still get ads. I think people were complaining about that. You should give them money. No, I give them money to... It's most. It's pra... It's like 85% the same series. Why would I pay <laughs> however much Manga Manga Plus is for mostly the same thing? So they can keep doing it. 
It's like a think of it like a tip. Well, maybe they should put all of it on the Shonen Jump app where it belongs, <laughs> well, and is also a better interface, and also doesn't have ads. I am not going to argue with you. There. I would pay five dollars a month if they put the series that are on. If they put like Red Cat Ramen, and if they actually put Don to Don and not in front of the, you need to read this other website. Mm. It's garbage. I'd pay five dollars a month for the for that subscription. Yeah, same. Not I will even... pay five dollars a month and let me say that I'm an adult. I'll send you my driver's <laughs> license so I can read Golden Kamui on my tablet because I don't want to have to get my laptop out. That thing is an ancient dinosaur now. We're distracted. Did you try using just the web browser on your tablet? No. Why don't you try that? Because it's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice, Brad. It's probably fine. Um, yeah, we need to end this. We need to let <clears throat> this play in. So thank you again for listening. This has been Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi. I didn't look at the name, so I hope that's Good it. Good job. Yeah. And Maybe. Brad. I forget. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Two halves of a whole not knowing idiot. <laughs> Brad, hit me with them plugs. Yeah, as always, we want to thank Sugoi Mart for partnering with us. Sugoi Mart's got all those Japanese snacks, drinks, toys, and merch that you can't get outside Japan. Um, our listeners can click the link in the description or use code APR15 at checkout and get 15% off their first order. And, of course, we want to know what you think, so hit us up on social media. You can find the links for that on our website, animepodcasterreincarnation.com, where you can also find other posts and reviews, as well as the episode posts where you can leave comments. Uh, join us on our Discord for some good conversation. we got uh, a lot of fun people on there. We have some good times. Getting excited for the new season of anime coming out. And, uh, of course, check out our Patreon, where you can get perks like uh, getting to vote on which series we cover on Heron Addiction, uh, bonus episodes, and getting the high-quality stereo version of the podcast early. And, of course, we'd love to hear what perks you'd like. And, of course, we need to shout out our patrons. At our reincarnated tier, we've got Cake Dwarf and Moon. At our merchant tier, we've got Kill Hour. And, uh, and last but not least, at our commoner tier, we've got Rena. So thanks so much to all our patrons. Thank you again for listening, listener. Don't forget to listen to our mainline podcast, That Time I Got Reincarnated in the Same World as an Anime Podcaster. And, oh, gosh, Brad, I don't I don't think I can record these podcasts anymore. I'm just hey, so just, anxious. Just take a deep just, breath. Just oh. take a deep breath. It's going to be fun. That podcast's right behind you. Ah! You know what I figured out today? They were playing Country Road at yoga, and it sil syllabically, for, for our purposes of where we live, you could very easily swap out West Virginia for um, Pennsylvania. Yeah, exactly. you already know. And I'm Mountain just like, how have I never Mama. figured that out? It still works. We got mountains. Take me home. Oh, we got Country Roads. Country Road. We could take that shit right back. I hear that in the morning now the she other calls lines. me. Radio reminds me of my home. Is there far anything away. else in, in, in that song Drive that's West Virginia specific that's not in I Pennsylvania? I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday. I don't think so. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm going to make it Pennsylvania now because fuck West Virginia. I don't live there. Take me home. home. Country road. road. To the, the place, place where I belong, Pennsylvania, Mountain Mama, take me home, Country Road. Now I have to figure out an opening bit, because I mostly was just thinking about that. Welcome everybody, this is Shonen Jumping the Gun. Do I say that normally here? Welcome everybody, as you heard, we are covering... I've lost the title. Meadow instantly kills Yamada, but with um, Kiyoshi's deep breathing, he. What the F did I write? Meadow instantly kills Yamada, 
But with his deep breathing, he roots on Kiyoshi and reminds him of deep breath. Why did I keep saying? Oh, dying breaths. I'm reading dying breaths as deep breaths. That's why I'm getting confused. But, yeah. But first. Well, as oh, always, uh, we need to get, have Truxan tell us about the rules of the range. Can you do that where I'm not talking over you at the beginning because I'm an idiot? Why? Because I talked over you and I was mumbling. So? You're Damn. an idiot. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. You got me there, Buster. Thank you for, for catching the ball. Or not even catching it. Thank you for knocking the ball out of the park that I pitched to you. Because I'm just like, I'm just like thinking it really hard in my head as I'm like, I don't want to tell him because I think, I, think I think he'll pick it up. I think he'll know what to do. And then you did the thing that I wanted and then even went beyond that. So I'm professional. You are. We've been doing this a long time. How much recorded audio do we have of us speaking to each other? Oh my God, hundreds of hours. We have at least, yeah, multiple days. Have we reached a week yet? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> What time time uploaded to f to stream to the to the feed? No, minus our, the time for heroin addiction, our, except the one episode I'm on. Our literal, well, I don't know because heroin addiction is in there, but our literal yeah. uh, time count is over 230 hours at this point. Wow. Yeah, that's almost 10 days. I mean, it's going to be less than that because heroin addictions in there and it's quite long but that doesn't still, count any of the bonus that's episodes still, uh, that's still a lot of time um i think all the original pop culture talk zones are on there yeah they are so talk yeah i mean zone, but that's just distinct. literally the episode lengths yep. and so there's all the extra yep. stuff that gets cut out as well you get a you get a you get a rhythm you get an ebb and flow you get a chemistry even flow Oh, round and butterflies. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. I don't know, know the words lyrics. either. I just know that beginning part and I can make the sound. But I don't Yeah. Mm. Pearl Jam, right? I believe so. Can't find a better man. He dreams. No, it's not he. She dreams. She's the one dreaming. He's not dreaming. He doesn't know anything. We're going to do this last one. Let's knock it out. Right. Bam, boom, bop. And then we get to go eat some food and buy some soda.